in the U.S. Congress today to pass a permanent tax cut. It has to be uh, deficit, not revenue, deficit of 11 years from now. So you can cut taxes all you want for the next 10 years. But when you get to the 10th year, you have to have spending reductions as well as tax cuts so that it's deficit neutral. And you can pass it with 51 votes in the Senate for joining the House. You can, with 51 votes in the Senate for joining the House, pass a tax cut of any size you want for 10 years. And that disappears. So the argument that uh, Paul Ryan and others have made is that we want a permanent tax cut. The tax cut they put forward is a two and a half trillion dollar tax cut in static terms. Uh, dramatic reduction in taxes, but there's also some spending restraint at the same time. So when you get to year 11, between the growth uh, and budget restraint, it is deficit neutral in years 11 now. So that's why you hear people talk not about revenue neutral, deficit neutral. You can cut spending and cut taxes dollar for dollar, and it can be permanent. So, uh, explain to me the border adjusted tax. As I understand it, uh, they're going to tax imports and exclude exports from income. Yes. And so that uh, ends up as a tax. But what they do is they take the corporate income tax and make it border adjusted so that when you export a tax, you don't pay corporate income tax on the value of what's exported and what's imported. You pay a corporate income tax on what's imported. Uh, they do this for two reasons. Because they need the revenue to, to uh, get the overall tax cut down to only two and a half trillion dollars as opposed to three and a half trillion in, in, in uh, lower taxes. Uh, and also, uh, in order to allow you to go to a territorial tax system, all the European countries have territorial tax systems where tax that happens inside the country but not outside also have their adjustable taxes. They have that. So, um, this allows you to have a territorial system so people can make money in France and bring it back tax free. Right now, if you make money in France, you bring it back the tax free. Those are the reasons that the tax writers have given for the border adjustable. So, in how many state forms do you think that this uh, border adjusted tax is a mistake? He takes it that you would disagree with it? Well, in the context of the whole package, it is a dramatically solid, pro growth, helpful package. On balance, on the balance, the more, whole more tax reduction than tax Yes. So, it wasn't like I thought that it was uh, neutral, yeah. but it would it'd still be. Balance. It's a massive tax cut. More tax reduction than tax increases, so we have a balance of tax reduction. Thank you for that clarification. Well, it's not, it's not very clear on what they talk about it because they always talk about revenue neutral in year 11, which is the actual goal. They also have to deal with the fact that we are going off the baseline of, what, of expected revenue or expected spending. And when we get rid of Obamacare, we're dropping that expected revenue line by a trillion dollars over 10 years. Last year, when we made permanent the extenders package, we dropped that $600 billion a year. So it gave us a lot more leeway oh, on the other set of rules Sorry, to actually cut taxes permanently and stay within the rules. The House and Senate and set up for the So then, uh, two things. One is uh, they can make a territorial system and they know. Uh, they, they don't need to have the, I mean, this is it. No, it's actually, it's completely attached to each other because if you make it territorial, people would just recognize their income outside the United States. So you'd, you'd have, you know, base erosion is the challenge. So if the whole thing is to keep it uh, deficit neutral or in the now. Yeah. In order to make it permanent. By the way, the ten years is pretty good at ten years. We'll see well, that except results. when Bush did ten years it then disappeared and we didn't we didn't get it all. Okay. So, so at some point ten years does show up. But wouldn't the best way to make it deficit uh, neutral in ten years and 
budget cuts. Yes. Yes, to cut spend? Yep, that is. So, thanks wanna, so much. We want to include some spending cuts in there, some real spending cuts. Watch. What watch that. What happened to all those agencies that they're going to get rid of? Remember that? Well, watch for it in the, in the entitlement reforms. I think you'll see the spending going straight down. Thanks so much. Great interview. Take and, care. Uh, great strategy and knowledge, so we depend on you for that. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Take it easy. I gotta get home and see kids. Yeah.